Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go... Uh, I still don't have my 300 nails, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go on a trip to the new area and check that out and be looking for nails along the way. Uh, I'm not sure when the hunters are going to attack again. They didn't bother me at all yesterday um, or, or, to, uh, you know, or during this night. So uh, they could come, and if they do, they do. I mean, what can you do, right? I can't stay here all day, uh, all day, every day. Uh, but anyway, overnight here, I am working on jam. Uh, so, yes, we are making jam slowly but surely. Um, and I might eventually make more chutney, too, just so that we can, you know, preserve the vegetables. But it takes, it, it's not that simple because you have to make the glass, too and you know so it takes power and mass to make the glass uh well power anyways uh so i'm kind of just doing this slowly as you know a little bit here a little bit there rather than trying to knock it all out at once um so anyway i'm gonna probably let let's split this in half i'm gonna let this go ahead and process the the rest of this stack into glass why don't we uh how are we doing on yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of low-ish on power there because of everything I'm doing. I was going to say, why don't we make another lockpick, but we don't have enough power to do that. Um, so I'm going to wait for this these last two batches of jam to finish. Actually, we don't need to because it won't spoil. Okay, yeah, we don't even need to do that. Uh, but currently, we have six jams, and then we have two more, you know, that are cooking up there. So... Uh, we're pretty much ready to go. We don't have any chickens, so we don't have to worry about them. The crops are probably either ready or damn near ready. Let's take a quick look at those. I don't have any light out here. Yeah, they're getting really close, but they're not quite there. So we'll just leave those where they are. And when we come back from our trip, uh, we should be able to harvest those. And then uh, what I'm going to start doing, if I don't have jars to make chutney for extra vegetables, I'm just going to harvest them and turn them into seeds. Um, that way, you know, we, we get a nice stockpile of seeds. And that way, if I ever decide in the future, if I want to expand the garden, um, potatoes in particular, because when you guys mentioned to me, I should take those extra potatoes and start making Molotovs. And I, you know, I, I, I don't, I think Molotovs are way too expensive, but maybe not when you have a surplus of potatoes so we might start thinking about doing that um too so all right let's see here we're gonna want to take some food with us let's eat some bacon and eggs and tomato soup right now and that'll get us topped off nicely for that and then um we'll, let's split these protein bars in half i mean we can always eat you know raw meat out on the road too as necessary and then i've got 13 waters and three blueberry waters with me and there's probably another water ready to go in here, I'm thinking. Uh, two more waters. Okay, so that'll probably tide us over for water uh, while we're gone. And um, just taking one last look out here to make sure no one's coming. Let's open the door. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Uh, let's turn these lights off and turn this light off. We'll also turn the light off inside the base right before we leave. And I want to top off my generators. You can go in there. And let's see, as soon as this is finished, which it just finished, okay. We should, I think, be able to turn this generator off and still have a surplus of power. Yeah, just barely. But remember, when the sun comes up, then the solar panels will kick in and, and make that even better. So it's just because we're running the two drills outside and we're running two of these. Plus, you know, once this is done, then this will turn off too. Uh, so I just want to make sure we don't run out of power, of course, because of the refrigerator. Okay, so we're good to go. We're, we're, we're pretty good on nutrition. And I think we're going to take off. And, uh, you know, I might... Let's, just, let's actually take those two canteens with us, too. Might as well. One last look out here. Make sure nobody's coming. 
Okay, well, if they come while we're gone, which they probably will, then they'll come while we're gone. Maybe we'll luck out and they will uh, get stuck under the, the deck. They use, some of them almost always do, especially when they all attack. If they don't, then they're going to pound the base pretty good and we'll have to fix it when we get back. But it's time for us to go out and about. So yeah, the plan for today is to head over to the new area and uh, just check it out. Uh, because I've only been over there once. It was in the winter time and it was at night. And uh, so now we're going to look at it in the summertime, explore a little more. And we will, of course, be looting and doing the usual along the way. So we can start here by grabbing some of this iron. Okay. Uh, we're not going to mess with Mr. Bear. I do need to cut some more wood too, but that's that's not that's something we can do at the base. Should we mess with chickens right now? I don't have any. Um, no, let's not. I can always get chickens later. If we're gonna get over there and have you know the lion's share of of the daylight to look around, we gotta move. I mean, it's gonna take us half a day just to get there. So let's just do it. Um, there. Oh, you know what? There's actually I just remember something. Uh, there's a rogue camp right up that way. And, oh man, look at these chickens. They're just begging for me to catch them. I think we're going to actually cross over this way. We'll just go right on by Charlie's house. We'll flip them the bird as we go by. Um, Charlie's next up for raiding too, by the way. We, we've raided Alpha and, and Bravo. Uh recently but I haven't rated Charlie for a bit so they're up next they're in our crosshairs next but not today so what we'll do is we'll land right through there and then we'll just cut right to the uh, what would it be like the north west side of the birchwood I do have one lock pick with me too so if we do find a lock crate of course we will loot it Upsie daisy. All right. Anybody swimming towards our base? Nope. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got a bear off to the left. We're going to watch out for him. Yeah. I think he's going to leave us alone. Let's just skirt this edge of birchwood here just in case. This is a good spot for locked crates. And we got a stupid level three wolf. Uh, let's make sure we're on the cheap arrows. All right. We might as well. Yeah, we might as well just eat this right now because there's no way I'm going to be back in time before it's going to spoil. We'll just keep keep our protein topped off I guess our guy's been surviving in a harsh environment for so long that his stomach's able to handle raw meat without getting sick I mean think about it the dude can eat raw bat meat down in caves so look at two chickens right there just waiting for me to catch them just begging me to take them home and put them in my pen of course. But ain't it gonna happen today, man. No siree, Bob. We got a mission. We're on a mission, and we can't let things distract us. Except for Loctrites. There, there's another chicken. Of course there is. I'll grab that carrot. Or carrot seed, which is actually better. Because if it's carrot, it'll go bad. Of course, we could change it to a seed, but that's beside the point. All right, we got ourselves an ammo crate. We definitely need those nails, baby. I don't know how many nails exactly we need. We need somewhere around 50 at least. So that's what we're gunning for is 50 nails on this trip. This is a medicinal, I think, yeah. Okay. 
And we're going to take the same route that we took in the winter time over the mountains. And yes, it was very cold when we did that, but we managed to make it work anyways. I don't think I'm going to go diving for kelp or pearls. Let's just keep moving. Level two wolf there. Is he chasing us? I don't know. I can't tell. Sometimes you can, usually you can hear their, their foot, you know, uh, their, what am I trying to say? Footsteps. Yeah. Uh, behind you, but not always. There's been times when I didn't think they were there and they were there. So we're just going to keep running. All right. We got a brownie up here. What level is he? He's a level one. All right. You know what? Let's just kill him. Give us your stuff, man. Okay. Two proteins. We'll eat one now and chow down on the other one in a little bit. Let's go grab this carrot, but we have to get all the way over the mountains before we're going to get to water again, so... Oh, that's a blueberry. So we should probably go ahead and just come back down here and wash. I'd use my water that I have, but I don't have a ton of it, so I'd rather save it. Because it's not really my intention to stop and make a camp or an outpost in a new area this for on this trip. We might end up doing that. Um, definitely might end up doing that, but that's not going to happen today. That's not what we're about. We just want to go check it out as we're looking for nails. So we're basically killing two, two birds with one stone here. You know what? That's a little high. Let's not mess with it. Just a tad bit out of our reach. All right. So let me see where we're at here. Yeah. So we got to basically work our way up this side of the the valley and then cut across this is all fence line here and then cut across over to here to get to the new spot it'll be a little chilly up in the mountains but it shouldn't be unbearable be being as how it's july oh for goodness sakes get out of here i don't got time to mess with you mink Not a whole lot up here in the mountains. It's pretty bare. We're going to see the fence here in a second. Too bad we couldn't just go straight up over that way, but I don't believe we can. Actually, I don't think we can. Let's see. Pretty sure we can't. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Nope, there's the fence. Okay, yep. So we are a little... F okay. Let's just run along the fence just to map it out. I mean, not that we need to. We know we know there's nothing up here but snow, but still. We'll do it anyway. And it's still a balmy six degrees, even up here. So we're in good shape that temperature-wise. At some point down here, it's gonna dog leg to the left. All right, now we're seeing some cold. It's minus two. That's just because we're so high up. We are dropping back down. wonder why he set the fence up like that. That's really weird. Oh, maybe we better go this way. That's kind of steep. I'd rather not have a broken leg. That's no bueno. All right, that's the new area. In case you guys haven't seen it yet uh, from a distance, it's pretty cool. It's a ginormous lake. However, most of that lake currently is not accessible, but it's my understanding is that it will be in the future. So yeah, let's uh let's check out this new area during the day in the summertime and check it out and see what it looks like. <clears throat> I don't know if this place has uh you know the same number of crates as the normal, you know, the regular map does. Seems to me like one of you were telling me some something in the comments a little while back that the crates didn't seem to be as abundant over here, but I don't know if that's 
if I'm recalling that correctly or not. But anyway, let's just go check it out and see what we can find. Maybe get some ideas for future bases and future seasons of the game that we'll play, you know? Okay, let's stop here. So we've basically, looks like we've already mapped everything out because seeing how straight this line is, that's got to be a fence line there. Um, so maybe what we should do is cut north here and kind of work up around here and then back this way. I'd like to uncover the, the fog of war or at least most of it. So yeah, let's just go this way. And keep our eyes peeled for crates. There's one right there. Hallelujah. Ammo crate. Okay. We still haven't found a single nail yet. <laughs> Go figure, right? Maybe we need to tell the game we're not looking for nails. And it's not what we're doing, game. We're not looking for nails at all. No siree. What we're looking for are chickens. Yes. Okay, there's some ore right there. And it looks like another crate over this way. Grab this. I've got a huge abundance of copper and zinc right now. I have no potassium, and iron is <clears throat> constantly needed too, of course. But we really need to get some potassium going ASAP. Why don't we do this? And since we are a bit thirsty, let's have one of those. Let's eat this protein and... Uh, well, I guess... Yeah, we'll have two of those, so more to get the carbs back up than anything else. Okay. There's some scrap. This little area right here where the grub tree is is kind of neat with the stream, you know, wrapping around. I like it. It's picturesque. Oh, you know what? Darn it. We should have brought some freaking uh, insect repellent. I don't have any, do I? Yeah, bummer. Oh, well. One of you guys was telling me, either in the comments or on a live stream, that you always carry an insect repellent with you in the summer. And I get it. Problem with that is it's taking up a spot for something that you are not likely to find very often. So in the meantime, um, you know, you're taking up that slot that you could use for something else. And if you guys are like me, whenever you go out on a run... You're always running out of space. So every single slot is precious. So the way I work with honey is when I find a beehive, then I go back, make some insect repellent, and go hit it. Except for this one, we probably won't because it's so far away. And I actually um, have honey back at the base too, so I'm not completely out of it anyway. Just got to maximize those inventory slots okay so this is a cool view building oh man building a base right up here would be awesome you guys look at that gorgeous view right up on this cliff here and then you could you know eventually make an elevator to get down from from the cliff side oh gorgeous i love it okay let's keep moving we got a a wolf over there not really interested in hunting unless we have to. So that would be that would be my vote for I mean so far out of everything we've seen so far for a place to live. You got this stream here for a water source. Yeah, this is really neat. Maybe what you, what you'd want to do here this wolf's going to be a problem. Let's just kill him. Three shots, not two. I thought I only needed two shots now, but apparently not. Anyway, um, so because you know, because of the proximity to the water, it might make more sense as, instead of over there. Oh, look at that! It's so cool. Uh, have you you build your base here, or maybe even. 
You know what you could do is you could have a portion of the base built here, but then have like a lower level down by the water, and that's where you'd have like your, you know, your cooking area and your farming area and stuff. Oh man, I, you guys, we might have to do this. <laughs> so if I were to build this, I would probably start the uh, initial base here next to the water and then build it up over to that cliff. That would be cool. Okay, we got to keep that in mind. We got to keep that in mind. But what I need to des decide though is I have another place in the original map. Well, when I say original, I mean the map we've been playing with for the last couple of years. Uh, that I was going to, there's some hunters down there, that I was going to do um, season two on. But that was before, you know, the new territory came in. So, oh, man, this, I'm, I'm like totally stoked about building here. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. We'll, we'll give it some thought and we'll see what happens. We're not ready for season three yet, though. Anyways, we still have quite a bit left to do. Uh, I have a lot, quite a bit left planned here for season two before we even think about season three anyway. Okay. Let's hop up there. All right. Well, let's keep looking around. What a gorgeous spot, though. I mean, seriously, this is really cool. Uh, and you even have a grub tree up there, so you can hit it every, you know, a couple times a day. All right, well, we have a crate over here. Oh, there's a hunter. All right, here, let's get this out and switch back to the these arrows. If we can kill him without alerting his buddies, that's always ideal. How did that miss? Oh, we alerted his buddies. Okay. Well, more loot more loot skis for us. Uh, let's turn those two into more bandages. And uh, let's see. Where did that other guy go that we killed? He came up this way. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well, more gears for us, eh? Um, we could oh, let's go down here and cook some meat since we have a fire now. I know I haven't forgotten about that ammo crate back up the hill. We will go get it. Oh, uh, finally we get some nails. Okay, let's put the nails in our requisite spot there. That way we can easily see the count. Um, all right, that we're just gonna eat and we'll throw that on there to cook it up and that on there to cook it up and give us some nice cooked protein. So there must be two groups of rogues unless that one we saw walking way down there was part of this party and they were going down to go fishing maybe or something. I don't know. Seems like he's kind of far away. While we're waiting for that to cook, let's go grab this ammo crate. Then we'll circle back down and get the the meat. Okay. How's my armor? Eh. This uh this is about ready for some repair, so we'll have to try and remember to do that when we get back to the base. Those aren't quite done yet. Okay, I'm just kind of doing a scan here to see if I can find any or spot any crates in this vicinity. Yeah, there's one out there that we can go after. Okay, our meat should be done now. Let's go back and grab it, and then we'll proceed. Okay, we'll eat this now. And we probably can't eat this right now. Let's take another blueberry water, though. All right, we're in pretty good shape. Let's continue on here. So let, let's see, what have we uncovered so far? Yeah, we kind of got distracted by the view. So, uh, 
I want to maybe go this way, except for we know there's a crate down there. So let's just go where we know the crates are. And it looks like there's a little spot over here that I haven't uncovered either. So we'll run this direction. Okay, so that hits that. Oh, that hunter's still down there. Uh, there must be another camper run. There's the waterfall. I see two pieces of scrap metal down there. Okay. Let's go over and get this crate down here. Maybe we'll, instead of working up that way, we'll uncover down here. Got a wolf and a bear. Oh my. Uh, all right, where the hell was that crate at? <laughs> it was down in here somewhere, wasn't it? There's a wolf over that way. Oh my gosh. My gush. Oh my gush. Oh my gosh. I completely lost where that crate was. It was out in the open. Was it further down that way, maybe? Oh, there you are. I thought it was like right out in this meadow here. Uh, I am not seeing it. Maybe it despawned. Maybe it despawned. Okay. There we go. I'll grab this. I'm just taunting this wolf here. We have 78 9 mil rounds. Yeah, I'm going to start using my 9 mil again. So for a while there, I was using it a lot, and we ended up running out of... Um, can I eat this? Yeah. We ended up running out of, uh, of ammo for it, so I stopped using it for a bit. Okay, we got these two scrap pieces down here, but we need to watch out for the hunters. Um, let's switch back to our premium arrows here. He's down there fishing. Grab that and we'll back away. Don't really need to engage them. Okay, well, I, I maybe that crate I saw despawned or it was further down the valley than I'm thinking it is. I'm not sure, but let's just keep moving here. Is this a level one brownie? It is. It is. Okay. Let's switch back to normal arrows. Let's take him out. One normal arrow, one shotgun blast will kill a level one bear with my current uh, upgrades. I've not upgraded any of any of my guns yet, either. So that will happen at some point. Let's move this way. Really love these new trees; they're so awesome. There's a few of them over on the older map, but not very many. Okay, we've got another brownie over there. Looks like it's a level two. A rabbit and a level three brownie. Okay, we'll leave him alone. And we come to... A very large pond.
Okay, we're stocking up good on fat there. Yeah, that is, this is a, a pretty good sized pond. Let's kind of take a look around. It's got a stream running down into it, which is cool. more iron all right how deep is this pond just out of curiosity it's not that deep okay if you had your base over here, you could do a daily run on the pond here and get uh, pearls and kelp and all that. We're losing daylight. It's okay. Um, all right, so let's let's take a look at the map and see where we're at. So we've kind of gotten a little off track. Why don't we could just go as far north as we can? And once we hit the fence, then what we'll do is we'll turn and head uh, west and just kind of map out the, the perimeter, and then we'll worry about filling in the rest of it later. Cause I haven't I haven't seen any of this part up here yet. Okay, here we got a crate next to a level three brownie. Seventeen nails. What did we lose? Cordage. Um. Why don't we do this? If I turn this into yeah, you know what? I don't think I want to do that. Why don't we make? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, let's go. We'll leave the cordage behind. It's not that important. If I turn all, all of my plant fiber into cordage, then I won't have room to pick more plant fiber. Okay, let's keep going north here. I'm not sure how, how much further this will go before it hits the border. Why don't we pull this out and turn the light on so we can all see. Oh, thank goodness, there's some potassium. No, that's ink. <laughs> Where in the heck's all the potassium, man? I am, like, so needing potassium right now. Oh, I have a feeling like we're going to hit the fence line here pretty quick. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, if we look at our map then, it looks like that fence line probably runs straight to here. This is, of course, uh, Pine Lake in the north. So it probably runs straight to here, maybe starts curving around, around this area, I'm guessing, somewhere like that. So there's still a pretty big chunk here that we haven't uncovered and some area over here that we haven't uncovered either. So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is let you go here. And I'm going to run uh, to the to the west along this fence line and just get it uncovered just so we, I kind of know what the where the boundaries are in this new area. And then we'll continue. I think I'm going to stay here, just spend the night here. I mean, I've got plenty of sustenance, and we don't have to worry about weather. I know it's cold right now, of course, but we're on top of a mountain. Um, and then maybe in, in tomorrow's episode, we will we'll just continue 
doing this and continue looking for nails because aside from the fact that I should get back to, you know, handle repairs, I don't really, you know, I want to have those 300 nails before we start the next building project. And I'd kind of like to bring those back with us. Of course, I'm going to use some of them for the repairs, but you know, what can you do, right? What can you do? I think we're going to proceed with the building expansion anyways, uh, whether we ultimately end up with 300 nails or not based upon, uh, you know, what we use for the repairs. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe that didn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like I'm rambling now, so I'm going to let you guys go here. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.